गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सोल लाइफ थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन आई होप यू ऑल हैड एन अमेजिंग वीक एंड आई कैन गारंटी यू दैट यू विल हैव अ वंडरफुल टाइम टू नाइट आर थीम फॉर द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई इज सैवेज वर्ड एंड आर टॉपिक फॉर टू नाइट इज द हुक प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एन अपडेट Now let's welcome a music presenter for this evening Martin Amos Good evening everyone from Soho thank you so much for joining in even as we come together let's worship our God and Savior Till I came. 
Tubby was a cute teddy bear who lived in the Arctic Circle. Tubby loved to eat and play. One day a trap was laid and Tubby fell into it. A hunter hit a fish in the ice with a sharp blade. Little did Tubby know that it would end up being his last lick or last bite of the fish. The more he licked, the more he tasted his blood, and the more he tasted, the more he wanted. The more Tubby licked, the more he wanted, and the more he wanted, the more he was edging closer to his death. I want to talk to you about tonight the enemy of our soul who is after you and me and he lays out hooks and I call that hook tonight the hook of addiction. Addiction in many ways is like that fish that has only one purpose to get us hooked. And I don't need to tell you some things that can hook us from smoking to drinking to drugs to alcohol to pornography there's so much. And the latest one now is gaming. Addictions are things that destroy your body, that destroy your mind and that spoil or rob your purpose for living. What hooks us to these addictions? Depression, peer pressure, relationship failures, loneliness. And like I said, the biggest one now, gaming. Right now, gaming is one of the greatest addictions that's so moving fast that young people, teenagers are getting hooked onto it. A few stats for you. From 2016 to 2019, unnumeral deaths counts because of gaming. Some of you may remember 2016, a game came out, The Blue Veil, in which many are found throwing themselves off the top floor or found themselves under a train or a bus. But what blew my mind was this image of a young man who beheaded himself with a chainsaw. So gross. The next game that is causing havoc and, and confusion and taking lives is a game that everybody enjoys. Everybody is hooked on to. And many of you who have tuned in tonight to Soul Life, may I say you are addicted to this game as well. You want to guess? Well, if your answer is PUBG, then you've got it right. In 15, a 15-year-old 15 boy, Alexis Maximov, from Russia is so obsessed with the game that he wanted to replay a scenario and to know how murder looks in real life. Why in our very own nation, Ajay, a 14-year-old boy in the city of Mumbai, stabs his mother uncountable times only because he didn't give her the phone for the past two days. That's the danger we are dealing with tonight. The danger of the hook of addiction. 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8 says, Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, is roaming around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Addiction that harms the body, that harms the mind, that robs you of your dream. I call it bad addiction. Now you may ask, so is there good addiction, Agnel? My answer to you is no. But there is a different kind of addiction there is a different kind of addiction that you can get addicted to that will bless your life, that will bring purpose and meaning to your life. Before I close, I want to share them with you. But I want to challenge you tonight. I want to challenge you to do something next time you are faced with addiction. I want to challenge you next time you are found tempted with addiction. Maybe you sit here, you're watching the screen and you feel like Tubby. You find yourself trapped in the addiction. You don't know what to do. You find yourself hooked. You don't need to feel alone. All you need to do is ask yourself this question. Do you really want to live like this? Do you really want to live life the way it is going on? Stop. Pause. Take a moment and ask yourself. When addiction tries to hook you, when the devil tries to hook you and destroy your life, here's what you can do. Here's what you need to understand. Number one, run. What? Run? That's all you've got to say, Agnel? Yes, run. You've tried it many times, I know. But I want you to try it one more time. But this time, try the way God wants you to try it. Not your way, not anyone else's way, but God's way. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 22 says, So flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith and love and peace, along with those who call on God with a pure heart. Flee and run simply means run. 
it doesn't mean stare look wait it just says run we all have heard the saying if you play with fire it will burn you fire burns clear instructions tonight stay away from addictions run from addictions proverbs chapter 6 and verse 27 can a man carry fire next to his chest and his clothes not be burned run 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 number 2 find someone to talk to if you're struggling and you need someone to talk to we are here to talk to we will not judge you we will not lay a seal on you we will be here to talk to you and listen to you for as long as you want the greatest lie my friends tonight addiction wants you to believe is that no one cares about you is that no one wants to listen to your story wherever there is no guidance people fall but with the abundance of counselors there is safety with the abundance of counselors there is safety so find someone to talk to tonight run talk to somebody and thirdly submit James chapter 4 and verse 7 submit yourselves therefore to God resist the devil and he will flee from you you know the problem with us we want to resist the devil and we want to flee without submitting to Jesus but Jesus calls us to submission Jesus calls us to give our lives into his hands when Jesus takes our lives he sets us free we are no longer bondage in this temptation we are no longer caught in this trap of addiction a true story tonight of a young lady who was trapped into many addictions but when she reached out to Jesus and Jesus reached out to her he set her free she lives now a clean life and what's exciting is she tells people about the same Jesus that set her free who the son sets free is free indeed who the sun sets free is free indeed and jesus set you free tonight my friend whoever you are i don't know your name but jesus knows your name he knows your situation and he set you free so be free in my closing like i promised you i would give you a different set of addictions and so here goes get addicted to the bible get addicted to god's word spend time reading his word spend time reading meditating taking long hours to read his word get addicted to his word get addicted to worship experience god in worship experience god in your presence in your room wherever you are get addicted to prayer what is prayer prayer is simply talking to god you can talk to god in the morning in the afternoon in the evening any time talk to god and lastly get addicted to good friends get addicted to good relationships how can you do that join a trek group today join a trek group right now after this after this talk you can get in touch with us and we want to give you more information of how you can get addicted to good relationships addiction is dangerous and the lie is no one cares but tonight get addicted to Jesus because he cares for you let's pray together father we thank you tonight we thank you that you are real we thank you that you're a god who is able to set us free and your word tells us when you set us free we are free indeed and so god i pray for everyone listening to my voice everyone viewing this video right now everyone logged in oh god this evening father we pray that you would set them free you would set a word of freedom over their lives and give them purpose lord we pray that you bless every single one tuned in tonight and for your name's sake set us free in Jesus name amen god bless you and we are here to talk to you
Thank you so much for joining us at Soul tonight. Thank you to our presenters Martin for that amazing music and Pastor Agnes for that wonderful talk. Dear friends, if you are going through a difficult time and you need someone to talk to you or pray for you, then I urge you to reach out to us on our helpline numbers or you can visit our website www.soullife.in. As a Soul family, we have been doing something called the Bible plan of the month. and we would like you to join in be a part of it and do this plan alongside with us please visit our social media pages or our website and we'll be glad to help you out with this please continue to support us by clicking on the give option on your screen and being a great support to us friends if you're not already a part of a virtual trek group then i encourage you to join one this week for more information visit our website or our social media pages Thank you once again for joining us tonight. See you right here next Sunday at 6 p.m. Till then, take care and stay safe.